Hello, Facebook, YouTube. Uh, this is, thank God for my friend Lorraine. I got a new, how you doing? I got a new uh, uh, iPad. Now I can do my videos on the other side of the screen. You, last time I used to do it on the flip side of the screen. I had to flip it around. So now I can do a front video. But well, well, the topic of the message, you know, God is great and greatly to be praised. And that's what we're going to talk about. If God is before us, who could be against us? You know what I'm saying? The thing is, you know, it's it's called learning how to trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Lean not to your own understanding and all thy ways. Acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Trusting in the Lord is un when we start first, you must learn how to praise the Lord to trust in the Lord. And that's found in I encourage everybody to read Psalms 56 when we learn how to trust in the Lord we can pray I mean we praise the Lord we will trust in him we will trust in the power we will trust in his ability to accomplish stuff and when you learn how to trust in the Lord you will establish this thing called Godfidence you will have this Godfidence that no matter how bad the situation, how bad the circumstances you're going through, that everything will be all right because God has the power to make anything, any situation, any circumstances right in your life is what is important to understand concerning, you know, if God is before you, who can be against you? Who or what? You know what I'm saying? Who, uh, 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 somebody that don't like you, somebody, you know, that is trying to mistreat you or what somebody you know is doing something to you your job your school people in school I don't, I don't know who is you know or you know that's coming against you problems and situations and circumstances beyond out, beyond your control whatever is coming against you if God is before you can't nobody stop you you know what I'm saying is what this is all about that we must come to the maturity understanding our spirit that God is great and greatly to be praised as what King David talks about that we need to understand that God is the great God that delivered his people from out of Egypt he can do great things in spite of the bad and how things are getting terrible how things are getting worse and we must understand that God is God is the great God that is advertised according to the scriptures that when God is before you, can nothing come against you? Nobody, anything that we must be stand, that we must learn first of all, as what it says in uh, Romans eight, that we walk in the spirit and not in the flesh. That's the main starting starting block, really, where it starts. That Paul did a great job putting down to me uh, Romans eight. It starts in walking in the spirit. And not in the flesh is where we develop the trust, walk by faith and not by sight, that you start to develop the trust and be faithful to the things of God, you know, in spite of what all odds you go against, you know what I'm saying? And the thing is, when you do that, you will come to this maturity that you will say the words of Paul that have been in prison, that have been shipwrecked, that have been through all kind of terrible things in him, his ministry, that if God is before me, who can be against me? Nobody is not going to stop me from doing what I'm doing, you know what I'm saying, concerning the things of God. And and, and eventually, deliverance is going to happen, you know, uh, in the end. We win in the end. God, Jesus Christ is Alpha and Omega. He's Omega. He will always win any end battle or whatsoever that we must understand concerning if God is before us, no matter what army, no matter who it is in the, in the, in the earth or in the heavens, in the universe, whatever come against us. If God is before us, nothing can come against us. And that's what it's all about. And I pray that you get this message and I hope it makes sense to you that you will understand who God really is and you will stand on that truth no matter what people say to you that God is great and greatly to be praised and God before us. No one can come against us. To God be the glory and forever in Jesus' name. Amen.